I wanted to make this quick little video just to kind of show how I'd hooked up the brake and gas pedals as I didn't see a lot of stuff on YouTube that gave me any ideas. I just went ahead and just made it up as I went along. Anyway, we'll start with the gas. Um, the throttle cable that I had was only long enough to come to about here. And I originally wanted it to come around and loop back here and then connect it to the bottom of this uh, arm on the bottom of this support for the gas pedal so that when I'd pull it, it would pull the throttle. However, because the cable only came to here, I didn't want to order a new one. I had to come up with a different plan. Um, what I did, looking at the bottom, it'll be hard to tell, but right here is this uh, arm that extends down from this back support of the gas pedal. And it, to it, we have a connecting rod that goes to this little swing arm. It's a little easier to see from the top. So this connecting rod comes to this swing arm. You can see it operating there. Uh, the swing arm right here on this right side is connected to a spring, which is bolted to the bottom of the frame here. Um, essentially, this swing arm's uh, mounting hole is just a little off center so that when it pulls it, the, this extra length in the arm here will travel a little further. It'll give me the distance that I need to go full throttle. In fact, I think I only needed about an inch and a half and it travels about two inches. We'll see if I can... So when you push the pedal, you can see how that does that. Now the, the throttle cable will connect up here. It'll be bolted to this and should work fine. Um, going to the brake, I took some pictures uh, that I'll post at the end of this video. It'll be a little easier to see because you can see underneath you can't really see anything due to the, the, the master cylinder being black. You can't see this little bracket that I built. Um, to the bracket, through the bracket, I have a couple of bolts that I just tack welded. And looking from the top, it holds that cylinder to the frame firmly. And the difference between this pedal support arm and the gas pedal is that towards the top of this one, I have just a little eye hole that connects to this quarter inch rod that I made, or out of quarter inch plate. And then it connects to the cylinder here, so as you push it, and it should work. Now, the only other thing that's probably worth mentioning is, as you can see the pedals, not necessarily even right now. I can tweak that. Um, they only come up so far before they stop. And this was version one of my, um, support arms, but essentially as you, I say essentially a lot, don't I? Anyway, if you bolt this to the one by one square tubing, um, as it, as it returns, this little catch that I, that I built here will grab the bottom of that tubing and it'll stop it. Now, if I needed to come up a little further, I can grind that down, or if I needed to go a little further back, I can just throw a couple of little tack welds on the top of that. And that's what that's how I need to probably adjust this one just slightly as you can see throw a little tack weld on the top of it and it'll come up to about right right there anyway if you have any questions feel free to ask me I can let you know what I did I know this is kind of hard to follow in this video um, I will post some pictures maybe it'll make it a little easier to understand some of the things that I did on this it I tend to overcomplicate things um, I wouldn't be surprised if I did it in this case, but hopefully somebody else that's looking for some ideas will see what they need from this, and uh, hopefully it'll help them out. One one th one thing worth mentioning is this master cylinder. I did mount, if you look right here, it does come below the frame, an uh, inch and a half or so, which basically exposes it to rocks or anything that may come. Now, it's still about 14 inches off the ground, but I probably am going to add a skid plate. Sorry about my finger getting in the way. A skid plate right in here um, to help protect that. And in addition to that, we're going to have the cables and the line, the brake lines running through there too. And that's we were going to add the skid plate before I ever dropped the cylinder there. So um, that is one thing that you just have to be aware of. But as you plan on putting, if you plan on putting some protection down there, I don't see anything to worry about. Anyway. Hope it helps.